Ever found yourself at a crossroads where every path seems equally daunting? That's an ethical dilemma for you. Ethical dilemmas, in essence, are complex situations that often involve a mental clash between two conflicting moral imperatives. You're stuck in a gridlock where moving in any direction could lead to a breach of ethics, making any choice feel like a walk on a razor's edge. You see, life isn't always as straightforward as a game of chess. Here, the rules aren't always clear, and the right move can often be shrouded in ambiguity. It's not about winning or losing, but about making choices that can have far-reaching implications. It's about navigating the labyrinth of life, where the walls are painted with shades of grey. These dilemmas don't just exist in theory, they occur in real life too. Shall we explore some? Scene script. Imagine this, you're at a switch control of a runaway trolley. Let's paint a picture. You're standing by a railway switch. Before you, a runaway trolley is thundering down the tracks, its brakes failed, and it's heading straight towards five unsuspecting workers. However, you have the power to divert the trolley onto a side track by simply flipping the switch. The catch? There's one worker on the side track who will be hit. This situation, my friends, is known as the trolley problem. A classic philosophical thought experiment that presents an ethical dilemma. Would you pull the switch, sacrificing one to save five? Or would you do nothing, allowing the trolley to continue on its path to hit five workers? The first choice seems logical, doesn't it? The numbers game. Save five, sacrifice one. This is utilitarianism at its core. The belief that the most ethical choice is the one that provides the greatest good for the greatest number. But then, are you not actively causing harm to an individual? Are you not playing God, deciding who lives and who dies? On the other hand, if you choose to stand by and do nothing, you could argue that you're not directly responsible for the five deaths. After all, you didn't cause the trolley to lose control. But then, is inaction truly the moral high ground when you had the power to change the outcome? Is allowing harm the same as causing harm? The trolley problem is a fascinating exploration of the conflict between duty-based ethics, which focuses on the morality of actions, and consequentialist ethics, which considers the outcomes of those actions. It forces us to question where we draw the line between personal responsibility and moral obligation. One might argue that there is no right answer to the trolley problem. It's a moral predicament designed to provoke thought and discussion, to challenge our notions of right and wrong, of responsibility and consequence. A tough call, isn't it? But such dilemmas are not just philosophical, they happen in real life too. Let's travel back in time to the Soviet Union in 1986, to a place called Chernobyl. The name alone is enough to send chills down the spine, synonymous as it is with one of the worst nuclear disasters in history. But the Chernobyl disaster was more than just a catastrophic failure of technology. It was a real-life stage where workers and authorities faced numerous ethical dilemmas, each with life-altering consequences. The heart of the Chernobyl disaster beats in the reactor number four, where an experiment to test a safety system went horribly wrong. The reactor exploded, spewing a cloud of radioactive fallout over vast areas of the Soviet Union and Europe. But the immediate danger was not the only problem. The authorities had to make difficult choices, to inform the public or to keep them in the dark, to evacuate or to stay, to minimize the disaster or to admit its full scale. The Soviet government initially chose silence, an option that undoubtedly cost lives. They downplayed the severity of the disaster, causing delays in evacuation and protective measures. The workers at the plant, the firefighters, the liquidators, they were not fully informed of the risks they were taking or the potential cost to their health and lives. The ethical dilemmas did not stop there. The cleanup operation required thousands of workers, exposing them to high levels of radiation. Was it ethical to ask or force people to put their lives in danger for the greater good? The government decided it was. The Chernobyl disaster is a stark reminder of the ethical dilemmas that can arise in times of crisis. The choices made by the authorities and individuals involved had far-reaching consequences for themselves, their families, their country, and indeed, for the whole world. This historical event was full of ethical dilemmas. But let's consider a more personal scenario. A friend asks for your opinion on their terrible outfit. What do you do? A seemingly trivial situation, but one that brings us face to face with an ethical dilemma. To lie or not to lie. 
This is not merely about fashion critiques or protecting feelings, but a question that delves into the fabric of our personal values. Let's consider the two primary options. One, you decide to lie. You tell your friend their outfit looks great. It's an easy way out, comforting your friend and avoiding potential conflict. This choice may seem harmless, but it is a lie nonetheless. Every lie, no matter how small, carries a weight. It can create a pattern of dishonesty, and over time this can erode trust and authenticity in your relationships. Now what if you choose honesty? You tell your friend the outfit doesn't suit them. This approach respects your friend's autonomy, giving them the chance to make an informed decision about their attire. But honesty, especially when it's harsh, can hurt. It may strain your relationship, and your friend may feel embarrassed or even betrayed. So. What guides us in these decisions? It's our personal values. Some of us might value honesty above everything, believing that truth fosters trust and strengthens bonds. Others might value kindness and harmony, preferring to avoid causing discomfort or distress. These values are not absolute. They vary from person to person, and they constantly evolve based on our experiences. But personal values aren't the only factors. Consequences also play a role. We weigh the potential outcomes, whether it's hurt feelings, damaged relationships, or a friend unknowingly wearing an unfortunate outfit. While this scenario might seem simple, it's a microcosm of the ethical dilemmas we encounter every day. Each decision, each lie or truth, each action we take is a reflection of our personal values and our understanding of the potential consequences. Everyday situations can be a minefield of ethical dilemmas, each decision shaping our character, so, what have we learned about ethical dilemmas? We've traversed the trolley problem, a theoretical conundrum that calls into question the value of a single life versus many. We've delved into the real-life tragedy of the Chernobyl disaster, a stark reminder that the ethical choices we make can have far-reaching consequences. We've also examined the personal choice to lie or not to lie, a decision that often presents itself in shades of grey rather than stark black and white. Each of these scenarios underscore the inherent complexity of ethical dilemmas. They force us to grapple with our values, our priorities, and the potential fallout of our choices. These dilemmas aren't just philosophical constructs. They're real-world challenges that we all face in one form or another throughout our lives. And our responses to these challenges are shaped by a host of factors, including our personal beliefs, societal norms, and the circumstances at hand. Remember, every choice we make, big or small, is a reflection of who we are. So, how will you navigate your ethical dilemmas?